Hi everyone, welcome to KG Techs. So today we are going to see what is environment variable, why should we use it, and how can we implement it in your, in Power Automate. Okay. So what happens is when we develop a flow, we use the test environment for development. Basically, you will use the test apl application to fetch the data or perform any operations into it. Okay. When you complete your development along with the testing, the bot or the flow will be moved to production for the actual use. Okay. So just consider one example where you are you know, developing your flow and you are working on the test environment. Okay. So in the test environment, uh, you are using one of the web application. Okay. So definitely your uh, web application URL in test environment and in your production environment will differ. Right. So to pass these dynamic values to to the bots we use the environment variables okay so environment variables enables the basic application lifecycle management of moving your power automate flow or any application for example if you have created any application in power apps you know that you can move it from one environment to another environment okay so we will basically see how we can implement that in in the power automate okay so right now i'm in the make.powerautomate.com okay and i will go to the solutions so in solution we will create a new solution okay new solution demo environment variables okay and i will create a new publisher called as env variables underscore variables and we'll give the prefix anywhere okay and then I will click on save Click on create. So this solution is created with with name demo underscore environment underscore variables. I will go to new more and here I will select the environment variable. Okay. I will give uh, project details as display name. Uh, as per your project, you can add the description. I'm just going to add as a test description. And here we have a different data types available. Okay, so you can store your data in the different, uh, you know, formats. Okay, so you have a decimal, uh, you know, decimal number as a data type. You have a JSON data type. You have a text. Yes, no options. Okay, data source, etc. Okay, and you can store the secrets as well. Okay. So for this demo, I'm going to uh, use the JSON as a data type and I'm going to provide some of the default values. Okay. So for demo purpose, I have created one uh, sample JSON. If you can see, this is the JSON editor, okay, which I have used to create this basic, uh, you know, JSON details, okay, which will have your project ID, project details, etc. Okay. And I will just copy that data and I will paste it over here. So I will provide the current value here okay as the same data that I have pasted here in default values I am pasting the same data over here okay and this this is something that you know you have to remove it when you will import this export this solution okay so when you export this solution let's say you are moving this solution from your dev environment to production or UAT your couple of details might get changed right so in that scenario, you have to remove it from here. Then you have to export this solution. And when you will import that solution in the another environment, uh, the when while importing the solution, it will ask you to provide this environment variable values. Okay. So I will just click on save here. Now this project details environment uh, variable has been created. I'm going to create one automation flow, cloud flow, and I'm going to select the instant cloud flow. Okay. 
will give the flow flow name as a read uh, environment values okay and this basically i'm going to trigger it manually so i will select the manually trigger a flow option create flow okay i'm going to use the next step where we will use the json uh, parse json action okay so in the content basically what we need to do is the environment uh, that we have created okay so that environment reference environment variable reference we need to provide it here so you can see in the dynamic contents we have this detail uh, project details okay this is the environment variable that we had created in our environment okay so in our solution so in schema uh, i'm going to create a schema okay from the sample data that we have used so I will use the same uh, details here, which I had copied from the JSON file and I will click on done. So based on the details that I have provided, JSON has identified whether, you know, I'm going to pass the string values or whether I'm going to use the integer values. Okay. So you can see this data type has already been, you know, defined by, uh, already been identified by the pass JSON action. And you can rename this command. It is always good practice to rename this actions. Okay. As per your requirement, parse JSON project details environment variable. New step. So we will see how we can fetch those details from this uh, environment variables. Okay. Uh, one by one. So here I can, I will add, I will uh, declare one, initialize one variable. With name, let's, let's uh, take this one application URL. Okay. So I will just click, I will just create one variable called as application name, sorry, application URL. And I will give as a string data type okay i can directly provide the values over here but we'll use one more action to assign the variable okay i will just do set variable here we can select this application url as a variable name and we'll give the values so now if you can see we have used this parse json right you know this is the name that we have edited and we had given project details environment variables right so this json has already made a job easy for us so it has already identified based on the schema that we have provided and it has given us you know the project details project id even if you want to see the body okay that it will give you so i want to say i want to face the application url Okay, so I will just select this application URL and we'll click on the save. So this is a very simple flow where, you know, you will parse the JSON data and to parse the JSON data, you will provide the environment variable. You will initialize one variable, okay, uh, with the application URL name and then you can set the variable value, okay, here. So this uh, flow has been saved. Let me test this. I'm going to select manually paste and we'll click on the run flow done so see this flow has you know ran instantly and here we have got the message your flow ran successfully and here you can see in output what data that we received so you can see in outputs body we got this project id exact you know exactly the same details that we provided and based on that it has fetched the application url okay so this basically is your application url which you can pass it to further your power automate desktop flow and there you can use the ui automation etc okay thank you for watching this video guys have a great day